turn four, start them off. Get on your feet, get your phones out. Out of turn four, they're saluting you race fans, the Blue Collar Outlaws of the South. Your Heights Brothers performance, Blue Ridge Outlaws, presented by Rick Hendricks, City Chevrolet, coming at you the long half mile, four wide. Ladies and gentlemen, get up on your feet as Lancaster Motor Speedway, we're coming down for round number four, the slideways for a cure tour, Nancy Shirey, we're on the hammer. Two, Shirey tried to get up underneath him on two. The Ronda Rocket off the launching pad. He'll lead down the back straight away. Shirey, Watson, Harris, Kevin Godwin, Jesse Rocket in the three and four. Rocket trying to work the outside that Dixie House car. He's got some of heat up on the outside. He'll get around Kevin Godwin. Nance will lead line number one. Now back to just about single file here. Nance a good lead over Shirey. Then it's even further back to Dylan Watson in car number one W. Behind them, the battle shaping up between Eddie Baggs and the 308 of Manley Chaney. Baggs now to the bottom, Hunter. Look at the doctor go, Eddie Baggs. Up in front of Chaney here in three. The doctor here we get around Manley Chaney and Kevin Godwin slow down the front straight away in the team to the car. Kevin Godwin to the in the G2 machine. And he is, he is just slow, the green is still out. He is not stopped on the speedway. We're still green and it's all Nets out front in control. Jiree second, Watson in third, Will Harris in the fourth spot, and Jesse Wright in the top five. Mark Dysart in sixth, Eddie Baggs in seventh. Chuck Smith in ninth, and Chris Fight your top ten. Looks like the G2 of Kevin Godwin going to be able to make it into the pits here as the Ronda Rocket Matthew Nance continues to stretch the lead. Let's see what he this time. 2.0 seconds over Scott Shirey, caution flag waves. So Mark Dysart and Jesse Rocket, four complete. We're coming back to the green, and Nance will fire them. We'll get back underway. Contact between Watson and Shirey going down the front straightaway. Jesse Rocket going to get around the outside. We're three wide for fifth. Look at the doctor on the move. Wow. Eddie Baggs now from 10th to 5th in a matter of five laps in that 14 car, and he is on the hammer tonight. He is working on the run down. He's Larry and Watson top three. Well, now Hunter Will Harris trying to make his way back up to the field. He's on the bottom side of the racetrack, got around to two machine, now working on the 14 to fight up towards the front. Eddie Baggs still got a rocket ship up on him. The doctor now trying to challenge the 21 of Justin Ryan. Here comes back to the inside of the 66 of Mark Dyser there. Going to take the spot away from him. Still two by two behind him. Will Harris trying to finally able to clear around Chris Fight there. And Sanders and Beast battling back in the bike as well. As Harris finally going to be able to clear the 14 of Chris Fight. And now he's going to try to run down fellow outlaw regular Mark Dyser as they work out the front. It's all still the same story up front. Nance in control. Scott Shirey in second. Watson in third. Here comes Bags knocking on the door. Jesse Rocket. A rocket in a Dixie chassis going to battle it out down the front straight away. You are exactly right, Mr. Hunter. Weaver, Eddie Bags. They figured out something on that 14 because he was awfully low there getting into the corner. Just about went up and got the guardrail. That's going to cost Eddie Bags dearly there as he falls now about seven car lengths behind the 21 of Jesse Rocket. Shirey still trailing Nance out front. Matthew Nance, he won the last race at Lake Hill in the Ford Spec motor underneath the hood. He brought the Super Lake model tonight. This Ford car is now Will Harris going to pull it alongside Mark Dysart. And he'll clear him for the seventh spot or the eighth spot going into one and two. Seven's not yet time going into one and two. Trying to make his way back up through. Come to, we have ten laps complete this time by ten complete. Will Harris now a little bit of right side damage to the 21 of Will Harris. Not quite sure where that came from, whether it be contact with another car or that spin to the inside guardrail. Now Matthew Nance starting to work towards lap traffic here on it. Lap traffic is the name of the game as he has Sailor Sanders in front of him in the 28 car. Chris Fight just ahead. And Nance is going to bat down the hatch and say, oh boy, here we go. As he's going to work to the outside, Sanders will give him the lane. Now he's going to start getting some faster lap cars of Dyson and Chris Fight. As Fight going to pull to the bottom, and he'll yield the way to late Matthew Nance. And now Dyson is throwing him in the 66 car right in front of Matthew Nance. Scott Charlie trying to stay in touch with him. Hoping something will happen. Dyson right in front of Matthew Nance. If he holds.
holds him up too long. Shirey's going to try to run him down. Vance is pinned behind the lap car. Dice Art, here comes the Dark Horse. This is the Golden Goose opportunity for Scott Shirey in car number 10. Nance, man, Nance now to the bottom. They get oh. the words right here. Now Matthew Nance is going to try to go back to the top side. Dice are going to take the late into Shirey once again, Hunter. And there was a little bit of land on exchange between Nance and Shirey at the first race of the season as Nance is going to probably put the lap car of Dice Art in his hip pocket. Dice Art going to fight him back a long time. as we have 15 complete this time right now. Working lap 15. Shirey still getting caught up by lap car. Mark Dyser in car number 66. Battle now, 21 of Rocket, 14 of Bags. Shirey still struggling here with Dyser. We've got one of those finish line here, Hunter, 16 of the books. And that gave a little bit of breathing room now to Matthew Nance. And now Will Harris in the 21 car slowing. He's going to take it into the infield in the 21 car. That's one less car that Matthew Nance wants to deal with. But the battle is down the back stretch between Jesse Rocket and Eddie Baggs. They are going at it in the three and four. Baggs is going to drive it in there. And he'll pull up alongside Jesse Rocket for fourth. Rocket going to hang on to the spot for now. That he is. We've been awful quiet about it, but how about the drive by Dylan Watson right now running in the third spot? Good drive for that young man in car number one W. That battle for fourth still raging right behind him. Bags now giving up charge just a little bit, falls back behind Jesse Rocket. Behind him, a pair of lap cars. And then you've got of Manly Cheney getting out of the 14 to fight once again. So You've got these guys that are all battling for position, but you keep entering in lap cars. Just about every single lap here. Only seven cars on the lead lap. The last one's mainly Cheney in the 308 car. Chuck Smith in the 33, also up there ahead as well, coming to complete lap number 20. This time by five to go for the Ronda Rocket. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with Scott Shirey right now, but it looks like he's kind of just riding, cannot find a lane around the lap car of Mark Dyson in car 66, the Mad Maverick. Holding up the 10 here as Shirey's falling all the way out of contention here. As it just looks like the Rotten Rockets on ghost mode now. At this point, that's going to be the best thing for him to do right now. Is now he's got Chuck Smith now in the 33 car in front of him, and that should be the last car that he'll have to deal with here. Smith's going to pull down, maybe down to the bottom. He's still racing in that 33 car. And now Nance pinned in behind him, going through three and four. Gun complete, lap number 22, three laps to go, and Nance will clear Smith. And that might be all she was right there. Three laps to go. Number two, next time by. I don't know, Hunter, I wouldn't say it just yet. I've seen crazier happen. We're coming to two to go this time. As Nance gets right back around the 28 of Elliott Sanders, gonna now set his sights on the 14 of Eddie Bags, two to go this time. I don't think he'll be able to catch the 14 of Bags as fast as the 14 of Bags is running. I believe that's safe to say Bags is probably going to be safe here to stay on the lead lap. And we're coming down to the white flag for the Ronda Rocket, Matthew Nance. Nearly about a half a track lead now for Matthew Nance leading down the back straightaway. He won our last event down at Lakeview. He is your points leader coming in tonight. He's going to extend the points lead out, get the marker out, write an, write an M on the check as we come out of four. It's going to be the Ronda Rocket tonight. Going around the third, Scott Shire will come home in the third spot in the 10 car, and Dylan Watson around home in third in the one car tonight. Man, what a run for the Ronda Rocket, Matthew Nance. Lancaster Motor Speedway, give him a round of applause for the Matthew Nance. Come on around here front, man. His mom's saying he's giving him a hug. What a drive. And we're going to get him down front here in front of our photographers and everything. Matthew. Good job, my friend. And, uh, you know, hey, I've seen a lot of drives in my time. 
But that right there was one of the most dominating performances I've seen in a long, long time. And, um, you know, you had to work for it there in the dash to get around Scott. But uh, once you got out front, uh, you had pretty much your clear track here. Yeah, we had a really good car tonight. I want to say a big shout out to all these fans out here. I seen y'all cheering for me in high laps. I put her up top for you. Oh, yeah, you sent it, man. You went, I don't know if you know the lap you went in qualifying. You went a 19.701, and that's a pretty good lap around this place, man. But uh, lap traffic wasn't too bad tonight. They got over pretty good for you and uh, wasn't too much of an issue tonight. No, nah, we had a pretty good car tonight. It wasn't that bad. Lap traffic done a good job. Gerald done a good job on the race receiver telling them. So we pulled out some notes from about three a year ago when we used to come over here and had a really good car. And i just been searching a little bit, so I pulled them back out and went through them, fine tuned on it. And I think we really hit on something for here. As for sure, their track was in real good shape tonight as well. You know, you could race, uh, you could race side by side on it. But uh, you know, we head to Halifax next weekend, man. Uh, I'm not sure how much experience you got there, but I know it's a place where you can really drive the car hard. I ain't never seen the place, but I've been been going around long enough now and been to enough racetracks. It's just another dirt track. As for sure, there. So, uh, who all you got to thank to help out and support you? I got to thank Diversified Finishers, Tomcat Performance, Carolina Racing Supply, Earnhardt Technology Group. 811 uh, Hustler Mobile Home Sales and Service, Automotive Specialist for this great engine under the hood. I'll be sure to shout out to Ronnie Crooks, these Fox Shocks, ever since we've been hitting these. And I know I bother them a lot and I talk to them and I make them work on my stuff a lot. I don't run the stuff like everybody else does, but uh, they've doing a real good job with them. One more round of applause for the Ronda Rocket and Matthew Nance here tonight. <laughs>